Yeah, um, so if we, I suppose, if we're looking at understanding the API testing needs, again, it's the API testing within an organization. I suppose what I've seen over the last number of years is this is taking more of a pri priority than it would have, I'd say, maybe four, three or four years ago. Now, obviously, to a lot of organizations, uh, it is it, like one of the top priorities. But what I would have seen, and again, Joe, you can jump in here as well it, with your kind of observations, but I would have seen a lot of organizations that maybe would have focused more on UI testing initially. And then as they, I suppose, as the application is there, as it's released, the, the understanding and the importance of the API side and testing the APIs knowing the the quality the speed all of that are are extremely important and there's a lot of organizations that quickly understand that and then need to implement their api uh, testing framework so from looking at that i i believe we have the next slide we'll kind of touch on some of this here and the the quality of the software is I suppose one of the, the top pieces here. So um, the, the chart that we have here, just kind of looking within larger organizations, um, you know, we have here whether testing is a top priority, which we can see last year, 56% of organizations said it was API testing. Um, and then we have, you know, no, but, they plan to do it in the future, and then it kind of goes down with yes, but not testing, or yes, but testing isn't a priority. But the the quality of the the software is key here. Um, I know from previous reports that we've done, like very very slight delays with regards response times of APIs. So if you're on an application, you're clicking buttons but the actual response of the APIs is taking longer than it should, even one or two seconds or even half a second. The drop off of usage on that is huge. And again, one of the main reasons is nowadays there's so much competition there. So if you have software applications and the quality that isn't there in them, customers do have competition there where they can move to a different application that will have that quality and the reliability. So the, the top piece here, the, the quality of the software, and then the bottom one of business continuity and user experience, to me, they kind of come together in, in a lot of ways. Now I know I, I, user... I asked you, Joe, a, a few minutes yeah. ago and, and, <laughs> and didn't even let you <laughs> didn't even let you talk, but no, that's all right. I've I've been waiting waiting with bated breath, just waiting for a chance to, <laughs> to jump in. But you're right. No, you're, you're right about it all. I think the one thing I'd add about your first point in, in terms of when organizations decide to prioritize API testing and, and what kinds of organizations uh, make that decision, I think you know, typically, let's say organizations and enterprises that are like not typically speaking, like tech companies might be a little bit slower to, to see the need for an API testing kind of program. Um, so your banks, you know, insurance providers, you know, retail businesses, that type of thing. So if, if they're a business where technology isn't necessarily their core competency, what I've seen over the last few years is they might come a little bit slower to the table of API testing. And then if you have a, you have a company that, you know, their main product is maybe a SaaS application or, you know, B2B software, they might be more aware just by the nature of the business of the importance of API testing, they'll come to it more quickly. Um, and I think a large part of it is down to that bottom point about you know customer retention, right? Uh, if you're talking about a company that has a web application and behind the scenes, that web app is running mainly on like RESTful APIs, for example, then the performance of those APIs and the functionality of those APIs is gonna be critical to the experience of the person sitting behind their laptop or their phone or 
wherever they're interacting with the app. Um, you know, I think the understanding of the importance of UI testing and making sure that the first thing their user sees is working correctly has, has been there maybe for a little bit longer, but um, certainly becoming more and more common with, with API testing as well, um, as, as we see in this lovely graph here.